Hi, this is Vijay Manzo, giving you an overview of my textbook, Foundations of Music Technology, published by Oxford University Press, as well as the companion software and website that accompany the book. The book in general covers the topics you'd want to know if you're first getting into music technology, like the basic properties of sound, recording, MIDI, synthesis, acoustics, audio effects processing, and so on. My approach to writing this book was to make it software agnostic, so to speak, by writing a single piece of software with a variety of lessons that demonstrate a single concept, as it's explained in the book. This is in contrast to books that, for example, explain fundamental concepts of music tech through a specific commercial application, like music technology using Pro Tools, or music technology through Logic, and so on. So the FMT software that comes with the book is free, open source, and cross-platform. So for example, in the early chapters we discuss oscillators, and look, you can play with one right in the software. We discuss the harmonic series, and you have an app within the software that controls harmonic series, and so on. You should know that these lessons came from courses I've taught where I felt that it was easier to demonstrate the concept I was teaching by using a simple one-trick pony type of app than it was to load up some DAW or a plugin that maybe lacks in the accessibility department when it comes to new music technology students. So in the book, when we discuss the concept of live mixing, we have a software mixer. And when we're talking about pitch correction, we have a pitch correction plugin right there, and effects and synthesizers and so on for the major concepts discussed in the book. The software is like a Swiss army knife for teaching foundational concepts related to music technology, with really simple, straightforward controls that are clearly labeled. Simple. So this way, after reading the chapter or hearing a classroom lecture, someone can open their Mac or PC and demonstrate that same concept, mess with the settings, and of course they get the detailed explanation within the book. So once the reader understands the concept, they know where to look for those things in standard software of their choice. So then you can tweak settings on FM Synth in Logic or whatever, since you know what settings do what. Later in the book, in addition to using the FMT software, we have a few chapters that mention more common software like Audacity, GarageBand, and NoteFlight in a general sense. But the way the information is presented, you can easily replicate the concepts being discussed in the software you use. There's also a companion website that has links to third-party content like YouTube videos, popular software and plugins, Wikipedia links, and so on. The book is designed to work in a typical semester course and could be easily understood by non-musicians and musicians. The latter chapters do provide some discussion of Ableton Live and Max MSP, so you could set up a course sequence from this book into my other books, Interactive Composition and Max MSP Jitter for Music. There's also an instructor manual for this book that provides homework assignments and lesson plans that you can either use by yourself or in a course. I hope you'll consider exploring Foundations Music Technology, available now on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and other bookstores.